Hello everyone, this is Janelle O'Clue of Lojo Immigration, where we provide you with confidence and clarity with your immigration legal matters. All right, folks, this video is about the USCIS field offices reopening to the public. All right, so at this point, we are several months into the coronavirus pandemic. I hope you're all still following instructions, washing your hands, wearing your face masks, uh, practicing physical distancing as you're supposed to do, okay? So as of June 4th, the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services field offices are reopened to the public. Now this is most offices. There are a few offices where the reopening has a little, been a little bit more delayed uh, due to some uh, logistical issues. But basically at this point, people are now getting notices to come to USCIS for in-person interviews as well as naturalization oath ceremonies. So I'm gonna give you some tips uh, for you to ha keep in mind um, as you go to the USCIS offices in this new age of COVID-19. First thing is face mask, okay? Face mask, you are required to wear face masks in order to enter the immigration uh, building. So please make sure you have your face mask, bring them with you um, so that you can wear them inside the building. There are gonna be hand sanitizers all around. You're frequently gonna be requested to uh, sanitize. Um, as you've seen in other uh, public spaces, they're going to have the markers for physical distancing to make sure that uh, people are keeping proper physical distance. Also, they are reducing the number of people in the building at any one time. So of course that means there are going to be fewer interviews. Uh, there are going to be fewer people at the naturalization ceremonies. Um, so uh, yes, there will be fewer people naturalizing. And then also for the people going for the naturalization ceremonies, you can't bring all your family members and friends anymore. Okay, previously when you were, you know, being sworn in as a United States citizen, you can bring your friends and family to come and celebrate, watch you become a citizen, no more. Okay, they're trying to reduce the number of uh, people. In fact, some field offices are even doing their naturalization ceremonies outside, okay? So along, this, um, along the same lines of having fewer people in the office, uh, nowadays, only the people who are um, asked to come for the interview, only the applicants, okay? Um, and obviously, if you're doing a marriage-based green card case, it is uh, the applicant and the applicant's spouse, okay, are required to be there. But extra people cannot come. Okay, so folks, if your child is not an applicant for the green card who has an appointment for an interview, please leave your children at home. Even interpreters, okay, even interpreters. Nowadays, USCIS is allowing for telephonic interpreting, okay, which means that uh, the interpreter will be contacted via phone, okay? Um, also, the uh, similar thing with attorneys, okay? Uh, immigration offices are now allowing attorneys to appear telephonically. So being able to have your attorney on call for your interview, okay? So these are some of the changes that we're seeing at the immigration office. Also, a number of the offices, uh, consider, uh, they were closed to the public for about three months, okay? Yes, work was going on in the background. The officers were still uh, working on cases, processing cases, but uh, the public uh, was not allowed in for in-person interviews or naturalization ceremonies. So they've got a lot of catch up to do on these um, interviews. You'll find that, um, in fact, some uh, USCIS offices are processing certain kind of cases and approving them actually without interview, okay? Certain kinds of um, employment-based cases. Also, uh, we are
are seeing that a lot of offices are focusing on naturalization uh, uh, cases. I mean, consider, you know, this is an election year. A lot of people were expecting that by now, um, you know, people who applied, you know, a year ago or more are expecting that by now their cases would have been processed. They would have um, uh, been sworn in as United States citizens so that they can register uh, to vote. Uh, and so those naturalization service um, ceremonies are also uh, behind uh, schedule. So there's a lot going on um, at immigration, and um, so we just want to encourage you all to please continue to uh, be safe and um, follow uh, instructions. And um, thank you. Thank you so much for watching uh, this video. If you found some information uh, helpful, please give the video a thumbs up. Also, click to subscribe and look out for more videos from Mojo Immigration. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.